Now, this is the second brewery I've ever seen have one of these big 568 ml cans. And I'm just, oh, I'm just so excited because look at this logo. Flowers and bears and birds? Hell yeah. Let's do this. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Brewski, for the Ruski Brewski review. And today, the beer that I have for you is it's a big can. It's a pretty giant can compared to my head. Compared to the beard, maybe just as long. Actually, no, it's a lot longer. Because you know, whatever. Yes, a giant can, 568 ml, 19.2 fluid ounces, almost the size of a regular pint, being 20 ounces. Holy shit, we have the Schutz by the brewery is something along the same lines of the, of the name of the beer, if I'm not mistaken. The Schutz. The Schutz? Da Schutz. So it's the Schutz Brewing, Da Schutz. Um, American Pilsner, if I'm not mistaken, coming in at 4% alcohols by volume, no listed IBUs, uh, not on the can at least, not that I can see, there's a big LCBO sticker on here, to, you know, covering up some vital information, I've tried to peel it off on a previous can and it just got really messy, so we're going to forget about that, 25 IBUs according to the website. God damn, that is a giant can with flowers and bears and birds and it's just, I don't know, it's kind of Hawaiian, it's kind of foresty, it's a good looking can for sure. So without further ado, let's crack this big bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Putting it in my uh, much smaller Royal City glass. Oh baby, I'm excited. Oh, baby, I'm excited. Perfect. That's like a quarter of the can right there. Looking at the beer. Beautiful straw, yellow in color. Fairly, fairly clear. Nice white head on top. Quite, quite pale indeed. Let's have a smell. On the nose. Whoa, what was that? Now that is lemongrass. That is lemongrass right off the bat. Lemongrass, crackers, a little bit of a melon sweetness out of it. Melon, crackers, uh, yeah, melon, crackers, lemongrass, grass in general. Quite refreshing on the nose. Let's dive in. It's a Pilsner. It doesn't have that Pilsner twang. Yes, but no. It does have a twang, but it's a lemon grassy twang. <clears throat> the beginning of the beer kind of went past me fairly quick. It's fairly light in flavor. It's not too in your face on that first sip. But we gotta learn more, we gotta do more research, and that means more drinking. So without further ado, cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Realistically, the only flavors I'm getting out of here are citrusy, lemongrass, and maybe some crackeriness just oh, hanging around out there. Not really bready forward, no caramel, no toffee, nothing like that, no hay, no grass, just, well, lemongrass, I guess. So, yeah, grass in a sense. Lemongrass, lemon citrus, crackery. Very straightforward but quite, quite refreshing. Mm -mm -mm. Good effervescence to it. Would consider this a crispy boy. Not the crispiest of boys, but a solid crispy boy and nonetheless. Absolutely smooth, light bodied, but not light in the flavor department. Goes down, mm. oh so refreshing. And like I said, doesn't have that traditional Pilsner twang. It's more of like a lemongrassy, citrusy twang to it. Ooh, I'm set. I'm actually set. Quite an enjoyable beer. Let's see what the can has to say for what we can find. The Schutz 
by Deschutes Brewing out from, it doesn't, does it say? Product of the United States uh, brought in or, yeah, Product of the United States, AFIC XM Canada Corp from Vancouver, so I guess those guys who brought it up here, but I think Deschutes Brewery is from Oregon. Not too sure where in Oregon. I'm not sure if Deschutes is a place in Oregon, but it says born in, oh, Bend, Oregon. There we go, very simple. Bend, Oregon. Pretty cool. Um, ingredients, water, barley malt, yeast, and hops. 4% ABV, no listed IBUs, but there are 25 IBUs in here. There is a description that is covered up by a sticker back here. And this sticker is one of those ones where it doesn't peel off cleanly. It peels off and there's a lot of like residue like splits in half per se. So I'm not even going to deal with that. I'm just, but I see there is a description. On the bottom there is a canned on date packaged on... Wow, March 3rd, 2020. So it's a fairly old beer. But then again, come from the States, going through Vancouver over to here. I can kind of see what's going on there. Getting beer from province to province is already a pain in the ass here in, okay, here in Canada. Getting beer probably from the States into one province and then over to another province, good fucking luck. That's just what I think is going on. I don't know all the ins and outs, but oh my lord, it is a pain in the ass. So, beautiful looking can. Good information of what they have, what I can see. But let's move over to the website, deschutesbrewery.com. You go here, you go to the beer section, you do find Deschutes. And we do have, ooh, some good information. Let's start off with the brewer's notes. Clean, lightly toasted, light citrus, bubbly and refreshing. A simple style with low ABV and low IBU, so you can keep on keeping on. Really do like that. Exactly right. Toasted, I wouldn't say toasted per se, but hey, you do you. Malts that are, ooh, we, ooh, look at this. Detailed list of malts and hops. The malts that are used over are Bohemian Pils, Pilsner, and Carapils. And the hops are Tedene, Lemon Drop, and Azaka. 4% ABV, 25 IBUs. Uh, description. Des Cahooties, Des Chutes, De Chutes, De Chutes. We've heard it all over the 30 years we've been brewing craft beer. So, we're making it easy this time around. At 99 calories and 4.2 carbs, this refreshing American Pilsner is your new summer beer. Simple in design, this beer is made to pair with, with doing. I almost said doing with doing. There's really no activity nor or non-activity that wouldn't pair perfectly with this beer. Leave the beer creation obstacles and overthinking to us. Cheers. I also have a pie chart of bright, citrusy, and lightly toasted. Lightly toasted is very, very low. Bright, uh, sorry, citrusy is a bit more, maybe like a third. And then the rest is all just bright. I can, I can see that. Um, yeah, da shoot. So it's, it's da shoots. Very simple. They clearly spelt it out in uh, phonetics. For anybody that was wondering, so there you go. Enjoy. They've heard it all. <laughs> That's quite clever. Uh, find near you, back to all. Pairs with fun, but I want to see what this puts me in. Pairs with fun. What is this? Oh! This is, uh, okay, let's see. Oh, and it says pairs with fun. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This goes into a, another page in of, of the, the beer. It says Sessionable Crushable American Pilsner Bowl. <laughs> Clever. Our brewers put a lot of time, energy, and effort into making dashuts, highly sessionable and deliciously crushable. In other words, we already overthought this one, you don't have to. Designed for doing. We made this beer to keep your palate happy and your wits sharp, which means that as long as it's fun, you can pair it with dashuts. And there's a toucan who seems to be pretty jacked thinking about sports, burgers, cameras, ice cream cupcakes, balloons, cats. Knitting, baseball, uh, lawn mowing, uh, clams, uh, ping pong, uh, guitar, and there you go. You got a lot of fun stuff there. Pretty damn cool. Like I said, 99 calories, 4.2 percent or 4.2, I guess grams of carbs. I don't know what size that's in, but it looks like they're only holding like short 355 ml cans. So this is this is a 
little bit bigger than a typical 12 ounce can. Uh, so it's going to be over 100 calories, but that's kind of cool. Um, I've hated on a lot of beers saying that why the hell are you doing ca calorie conscious beers, blah, 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 like go fuck yourself, drink beer because you want to get, you know, you want to drink beer. Um, but when they don't sacrifice flavor and great quality beer for, you know, just regular calories, hell, I'll cheers to that. But as far, the, as far as the website goes, top notch, top notch, description after description after description, all different. Uh, the pie chart thing is kind of gimmicky, but hey, it's more or less straightforward. But detail list of malts and hops, ABV, IBUs, you are good to go. Really well done. No complaints here. Over on tap, Deschutes has been given a 3.45 bottle caps out of 5, and that's a whoa, over 21,000 ratings. So, quite a number. And it's good. It's light. It's refreshing. Those are two great qualities. Even 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 having a beer coming in at 99 calories per, you know, 355, I want to say, and I don't know, but I'm guessing. But the, the, the other flavors that come about, the crackeriness, the lemongrass, the lemon, the citrusiness of it, those are lighter flavors which really work well in a lighter beer. So I think, I think that's my thing, where people or brewers will brew a beer that is supposed to be big with rich, you know, richer flavors, sharper flavors, flavors that need to be at a certain level of, you know, calories and, 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 and carbs and what have you to taste true and delicious and then they scale it back to make some low cal health conscious diet like diet friendly fucking beer and then they just they just flop because you're taking something that isn't supposed to be in that realm and, and trying to force it into some some segment that it's not supposed to be in. Or they just shit the bed ent entirely. But this, the shoots. God damn, you've done it right. You pick great flavors, you pick the great base beer. And having these flavors in here, just, just crafting it, you crafted it well, it's absolutely delicious. No one would even know that it's, I guess, calorie conscious beer, but it's not marketed like that. Not initially, not in your face. This, this is not how it's portrayed. And I do appreciate that. If it happens to be that way, because that's just how it was brewed, that's great. That's great in, in my opinion. But uh, but but you know, don't try to force something that can't happen properly, please. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. But yes, moving back over to the beer. Actually, no, we gotta go to the LCBO because we gotta uh, make sure the price four twenty five for the big can. It's a dollar or a little. little more. A little less than a dollar more than Amsterdam's beers um, at, at about the same caliber. But then again, those are here in Ontario, in Toronto, in Canada. This is coming from the States, so I'm, obviously there's going to be a little bit more of like, you know, you know, a little bit more money needing uh, to come here because of the whole journey and legal and blah 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 stuff and things. Uh, 4 25 for a big can like this, at the beer of this uh, stature and flavor and deliciousness, I cannot complain. So with that said, guys, Cheers on the final sip. Let's get ready to drink and wrap this thing up. The Schutz American Pilsner. The Schutz Brewery. Oh my god. I'm a big fan of this Pilsner. This is definitely on, on, on like top five of my Pilsners right now. It's goddamn delicious. It's goddamn delicious. It comes in a big can. It's at a reasonable price. You know, it's uh, it, it's, it's quote unquote calorie conscious, but in a good, in, in a well done manner, in a manner where, in a matter, in a manner, in a matter where it actually fits, and it's not just you know pushing calorie content, taking that uh, being the, the main goal over flavor. This has flavor, and I guess it just so happened to be calorie conscious, so it works. It's like an added benefit. <laughs> I guess it's a um, it's a note to brewers doing a calorie conscious beer. Don't force it. Just let it happen. Kind of like uh, 
No, no, no. Kind of like trying to learn how to drive stick shift. You're, you're going to stall the car. You just let it happen. You'll learn. You'll learn. You'll figure it out. That's a terrible analogy. But, uh, yeah. Moving forward, it's a great beer. I really do enjoy it. It's a big can. I can't complain. The flavors are light. They're refreshing. They're, uh, even though they are light, they have a perfect intensity to them. It just works well. Everything flows beautifully in this beer. And God damn, I'm so happy it's in a large fucking can. Because that's always, always a great time. The shoots deserves a solid ooh, 8-1 out of 10. As for presentation, the can design is absolutely phenomenal. The only thing that I don't like is when LCBO puts these big stickers on here, but I, I, so I can't really give the can a proper uh, score. But I can give it what I have, what I see. Ingredients, ABV, no IBUs listed, but there is a clearly labeled package on date, which I do really appreciate. But the website, Tons of information, tons of descriptions, all slightly different. I'll give you a little bit more, plus a detailed list of malts and hops. You get ABV and IBU and pair as well with more or less anything. Seems to be a little bit of a cop out, but then again, shit, it does just that. So with that said, Jesus, presentation gets a solid, ooh, gets a solid eight and a half out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on you in the future, you can leave all of that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruce, I would greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruce. Can I call you say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Big beers, even pilsners. Oh my god, I don't think I'll be able to finish this right now. I mean, beer into glass, not beer into me. Ooh, don't go over. And there's still some left. And there's still some left over. Cheers.